Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can control the DC motor speed using a pressure sensor and everything connected to an Arduino. First, let's talk about the component. Here I have my DC motor just to demo how everything works. This is an L298 or what they call an H bridge motor driver. That's our battery or our external power supply because you do not want to power the DC motor directly from the Arduino. I think we've talked about this in multiple videos. Right here, I have an LED just to also help for the demo. And this is right here, our pressure sensor. I have a separate video explaining how the pressure sensor work separately. However, in this video, we're gonna use the pressure to control the DC motor speed. And here I have a tiny resistor, which is a 10K resistor to use for the pressure sensor. And here is my Arduino Nano. You can use any Arduino or ESP32 for this. Anything that can uh, generate uh, pulse with modulation, uh, that should work. So now we have our components. Let's look at the wiring. Before we talk about the wiring, let me de demo how this works. So this is my pressure sensor, and the more I press on it, the, you can see the motor start to spin. And the harder I push, the faster the motor goes. And that's the idea here. You can see that also on the LED. Okay, let's talk about the wiring. So I'm gonna disconnect my Arduino. You can use any Arduino like I mentioned. Here is my pressure sensor. I do have a separate video that I will link in the description. Also the wiring, I will list it in the description. Also they should show up somewhere here on the screen. But for the pressure sensor, we have voltage, which is the VCC. This is the five volt from the Arduino. So this one should be easy. It's just a five volt from the Arduino. The second part, it's connected to the pin that we want to use to read the signal. Right here, I'm using pin A0, if you can see that. So pin A0 to read the signal. So one is going to the VCC, that second leg. So one leg is VCC, second leg is going to that pin A0. And then that same leg, that same leg that is going to A0, it's connected to ground through this 10K resistor. So I'm gonna remove this resistor. You can see that same leg that is going to A0 connected to ground through this cable over here. And the second one, the other leg is just the voltage. So that is my pressure sensor and I'm getting the analog reading. I'm gonna remove that. And again, I will list everything to make it more clear. This LED right now is just tapped to one of those pins that is connected to the DC motor or controlling the DC motor just for visual to show how things works. And right now I'm using the D10. So let me see if I can get my camera to focus here, but I'm using D10, D8, and nine. So eight, nine, and 10. 10 is being used to generate that uh, pulse width modulation. So that is controlling the speed based on the reading from the sensor. Eight and nine is just to enable the motor. So those are just to enable and disable the motor. You need one of them to be high, the other one to be low. And if you wanna change the direction, you would just flip it on the other way. And that's how the H bridge work. So I'm gonna remove these wires. And that's the Arduino side. Let me just remove everything here. And we will talk about the H bridge for a second here. So let me turn off my power supply. You do need an external power supply. Otherwise, connecting a DC motor directly to the Arduino is just not a good idea. And it might not work, or even if it works, it's just not a good idea. So one thing you need to do here for the external power, you need to connect the ground of the external power to the ground of the Arduino. So you can see this cable here that I'm using. I'm connecting the ground, which is the middle pin on the terminal, to this pin that is tapped to the Arduino. You have to connect the ground power. 
let me remove these cables because they are making a mess and then maybe I can explain it a little bit better so when I remove this that's just the external power supply right here is my DC motor you have two DC motor output let me remove that and then hopefully I can explain it a little bit better and I'm going to remove these as well these are just to enable and disable but this is the H bridge I do have a separate video explaining this separately on its own which I will link it as well in the description if I can find that this is the L298 and this is just a simple uh, motor controller and it's very cool so the way it works here we're going to connect our voltage the middle one is the ground if you have 5 volt you would connect it here if you have anything over 5 like 12 volt you would connect it here so this is the 12 volt this is the 5 volt and the ground is in the middle here is you can connect the motors so this can control up to two dc motors one can be here the other one can be here and then you can control the direction by using these pins so let's explain what these are this first one is the enable so if this is on then the motor so this first one will enable this motor this last one will enable this motor here you can also use a jumper to always have it enabled if you jumper these two pins you will always have this side enable if you want to jump for these two pins you'll always have this side enabled so now you have four pins left in the middle and the first two will control this side the second two will control this side and all you need to do is to be one high one low to have the motor spin in one direction and if you flip them around then the motor will just spin in the other direction i hope that made sense if I got you confused, I'm sorry about that. Uh, let me know in the comments and I can make maybe a separate video or I will link to a video that I already explained this maybe a little bit better. But yeah, this is the H bridge. That's how it works. So right now I'm using the pin 8 and 9 to control these two pins. And I'm using pin 10 to control the enabling of this. And because I'm generating pulse with modulation based on the pressure, it's not always enabled. It's only enabled enough based on that amount of pressure. So that's how we control the speed of the motor. And right here is our external power supply. Right now I'm using the ground, which is the middle, and the 12 volt. Well, I'm, I don't have 12 volt. I have about 7 volt from here, but that works. Um, so, and if you have 5 volt, you would use this over here. So this is it for the wiring. And as far as the code, I will leave it in the description. If you have any questions, comments, or if you uh, like this video, please consider like and subscribe. Uh, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one.